hello class, and welcome to Community Corrections. This will be a fully online course, and I will be your instructor, Dr. Davis. Some of you may remember me formally as Dr. Curlin. So, let's get into contact information. Should you need to get a hold of me throughout the semester, my email is still curlin at kutztown.edu. I did change my name, but we haven't quite caught up all the other things with it yet. So that would be my email. You can also call me. My number up there is my personal cell phone number. So all I ask is that you be mindful of the fact that I am an old lady at heart. I'm in bed by nine o'clock at night. So I will get back to you within 24 to 48 hours of you reaching out, um, but try not to call or text too late at night um, because I will be in bed. Uh, I will also hold office hours from noon to one on Tuesdays and then on Wednesdays from 6 to 7.30 at night. I'll be teaching Tuesday evenings in person, so if you try to get a hold of me during that time, um, I will be on campus. All right, so we're just gonna cover a few things that are important throughout the course, some assignments, exams, discussion boards, just I wanna highlight some of the key points of the syllabus. So there will be four exams, including a non-cumulative final exam. So essentially there will be four exams. Each one has about three or four chapters that we're gonna cover on it. Each of them are 50 points each and they are open note exams, not open internet. I will require you to use the lockdown browser. Not that you're gonna have a whole lot of time to look up answers, but it just helps me to ensure that you know the information and you're not looking it up. Discussion boards. There will be six throughout the semester. They're worth 20 points each. Your initial post is worth 10 and your replies are then also worth 10. Please make sure that they are complete and thorough posts. I haven't had much trouble with this from any students at Kutztown so far, but I do like to make it a point to say, just make sure you're thoroughly answering the question. You're using material from the week that we've covered, some of the videos we've watched. Just make sure that you're answering the question completely and fully. And then when you're replying to your peers, ask them questions challenge their position or ideas. I try to make the discussion boards not simply just a correct answer for the discussion because I want you to discuss. So I'll pose things that have, or prompts that have polarizing views, ideas, and answers so that you do have um, just a better way to engage with one another. So you can agree, you can disagree, challenge your classmates, maybe give them a new idea or concept to consider. Since this is an online class, this is really gonna be one of the only ways that we have to engage with one another. So you'll have one initial post, please have it in by Thursdays at midnight. That just gives your classmates enough time to log back on and reply to one another. Um, the, all of the replies and posts will be due fully by Sunday at midnight. So there's two reply posts to your peers. All right, there will be a midterm and then a final paper and or presentation. So. The midterm paper is going to be a pre-sentence investigation report. That's gonna be due on March 3rd at midnight. There will be many more details and information on this inside of D2L. Then you'll have either a final paper or presentation. You choose how you want to present this information. What you're going to do is develop a community corrections program. You're gonna design everything from the population you're addressing, what services are being offered, who's offering those services, where are you offering these services, is it inside of a prison, is it inside of a halfway house, are you creating a halfway house? So again, many more details as well in D2L for that, but please take note that that is due Saturday, May 4th. So it's a Saturday, not a Sunday, the last day of the semester. And that should read 11.59 p.m. So by midnight on that date is when that will be due. Attendance. I simply ask that you make sure you're reviewing all of the course materials in each week's module. For those who don't know, I can, as the instructor, see which things you've opened and how much time you've spent on them. Um, it's just another way that I can sort of keep tabs when students are telling me that they're having trouble with certain information or material or certain assignments, my first question is going to be, did you go in and review everything inside of the module? I try to be as detailed as possible when I write out instructions 
but sometimes it may not make sense. It made sense to me when I wrote it, but maybe it doesn't make sense. So always feel free to reach out if you don't understand. Make sure that you're reading the chapter for every week. I do post lecture videos for each week's module for each chapter that we cover for those who are more auditory learners. So make sure you're watching those lecture videos. And again, if you have questions, please reach out. There is no such thing as a dumb question. If you have a question, someone else probably also has that question. Again, I just ask that you review all the materials and instructions first, so that way when you reach out, you can really have a detailed question for me that I can answer specifically. All right, if you have any accommodations or a disability for which you're requesting accommodations, please make sure that you contact the Disability Services Office. And if you have an already approved accommodation, please feel free to reach out to me. I will get the email noting that you have an accommodation, but reach out to me directly so that we can decide and figure out together how I can assist you through the course throughout this semester. All right, that's it for the big main points. Any questions? All right, so just to give you a little information about me, your instructor. So I have been working in the field of probation for the last about 10 years. I was with juvenile probation as a probation officer and as a supervisor for about seven and a half years. I recently transitioned over into the adult realm. So I'm now the quality assurance supervisor in adult probation in Berks County. So in my role, I'm responsible for rolling out evidence-based practices, as well as making sure the officers are delivering information and are delivering the services that they're supposed to to their offenders with quality. So that's the quality assurance piece. And then continuous quality improvement is also in that. So, you know, are we rolling out the services that we should be? And then are we doing that well? So my job has a lot of different tasks that that includes. But I love the field of probation. I love working with individuals who are either re-entering out of prison or simply just were placed on probation instead of being given an incarceration sentence. In my heart and soul will always lie with juveniles involved in the juvenile justice system and guiding them and working with them. So that's a little about my background. I also have a doctorate in criminal justice that I got from California University of Pennsylvania. It's now called Penn West. Uh, my undergrad work was actually majored in psychology at Temple University. And then I went on to Westchester University to earn my master's after that. Um, so that's a little bit about my background. So one thing that you're going to do in your introductions uh, videos is you're going to tell me a little bit about yourself. So there was my professional background that I gave you. So something personal about me. These are my wedding pictures. We actually went out to Oregon to get married. We took about 20 of our closest family and friends. So that was my, there's some of my personal information and then my little dog there on the left, which he's just the light of my world and I love him. And then a peculiar fact about me, which I'm also gonna ask you guys to give me one peculiar fact about yourselves, is that I actually do my own acrylic nails. I know some of the ladies here may have also learned how to do that over COVID, uh, prices went up and I had nothing else to do but, but time on my hands. So I learned how to do my nails. So what you will do in your introduction video is tell me a personal fact about yourself. You don't have to get too personal. You'll tell me something professional, maybe what your major is, what you want to do for a career when you graduate. Uh, maybe you're working currently, tell me about it. And then give me one peculiar fact. I always like to hear these interesting facts about you guys. So that will be for your introduction videos. It is a pleasure to be your instructor for the semester. Again, if you have any questions, if something doesn't make sense, if a module doesn't open for you, please let me know because I probably can't see that on my end and I think everything's working fine. So one thing I did forget to mention, we're going to break this up. Each week will be a certain module and we'll just cover material for that week. So it'll run Monday through Sunday at midnight. So that's how our weeks will run. All right, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and I look forward to talking with everyone this semester.